Let's have the Honorable Manje, Watigo. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this chance to also contribute to this speech of the President and say the President means well for this country and uh, actually he articulated the issues that is before him. He also started by reminding us we have a sacred duty for this republic. Uh, he would like us to create a country that our children, children will find a good a place they will call home. So he gave uh, his speech amidst of uh, this COVID-19, and I want to say initially the first steps that he made were very good for this country to fight COVID-19, especially when he put curfew, remember the first phase of it, uh, we were able as a country to contain COVID at that particular point, and also the in in incentives that he gave, like uh, the tax rebate and all that, uh, reducing uh, the VAT from 16 to 14 percent and also corporate uh, tax and pay from 30 to 25. So the initial measures were very good. But this second phase, there is something that I think uh, he needs to do or we need to do as a country. Just the way he said in his speech that uh, we should not get, be fatigued by putting the mask and also keeping distance and also sanitizing our hands. We have to do something as, can, uh, as a country because we are taking it casually and we are likely to get it. Uh, last night, I think, but one, I was listening to a research from uh, Camry and they were saying those who gave blood around July, June, about 4% uh, had COVID-19 at that particular time. Some of them went through without knowing whether they were sick. So the, the situation in the country is there and we have to do something. Yesterday, I buried one of my key people in the constituency, and you could see many people attended. His name is uh, Pope Meto. Uh, many people attended, and you could see that aspect that uh, people are not taking care, despite the fact that he died of COVID-19, and it was very clear, you could see people are not protecting themselves. So I think we have to make sure that at least we know Kenyans are social, but we have to make sure that we, we take care of this. Also, he narrated about the development agenda, the infrastructure that is coming up in the country, road infrastructure in the country that is coming up strongly. And also, it, was, it is very key that he addressed the issue of education. He gave uh, the, the, the picture, the bold step that he made to make sure that the transition from uh, primary school to secondary school is 100%. This is the second year running, and it is working uh, properly. And also the education system, uh, education system is being changed from 844 system uh, to competence-based education system, which I think will uh, serve this country. Also, he elaborated the neighbors for the agenda, for big agenda, how he has uh, tried to connect the country, uh, and I think this one uh, will do, will go to a strength length. But also, I see also a threat if it is not addressed. This country. Uh, the rate at which the debt is uh, going up, it has to be addressed. That is a threat in this country. The way I see it, you know, we get money. Our production in the counties are not very good. We concentrate on uh, getting money to the, from uh, Kenyans or from uh, the debts. Then we distribute to counties that are also not functioning. We should now concentrate on the production at the county level. If the county is not producing, then we should also reduce resources. Because at the end of the day, I see a threat. Give it another five, ten years, this country will come to a standstill because it is equivalent to a business sector. If you use one business to fund other units uh, which are not producing, at the end of the day, you will come uh, to, uh, to cramp at that. Another issue that I see as an issue in this country that has to be addressed is the political issue. We have never solved a political equation in this country. We have to address it deliberately. We have to make sure that we come out and know how we are going to go forward. And also, uh, there are some people who are coming to politics to form a cartel that will uh, enrich themselves. The way you are seeing governors are being exploited, blackmailed, is because MCAs are coming together to exploit the situation. They want to, be, to blackmail the governors so that at least they give them something. If we don't solve this particular problem, this country is at a threat of political 
people in this country. So we have to make sure that we, we, we do that. And also we have to respect our institutions that we have so that as a country, institutions will make sure.